execution. Um, uh, I was supposed to run in New York a couple weeks back, but we was having some little tweaks and things physically. Um, so I wasn't able to do as many hurdle prices as I would probably have liked. So still just trying to come back from that, um, try to zone all that stuff out. And then, I mean, it's only trial. So you just got to get through it every round and make it to that final and get top so three. Proceed with caution to make sure you were 100%, healthy. yeah. And how, I mean, have you dealt with that before? I mean, what, what was that process like? I mean, I've had <laughs> countless injuries in my yeah, yeah. in my career. So it's, it's nothing new to me for real. Um, I haven't had many this close to a, a huge event as like the Olympic trials. So that has been a little bit taxing mentally, but I feel like I'm in a good space, locked in. And we have these two next days off. Got the first one out of the way. Um, just relock in and get ready for the semifinal. Do you like? I was gonna say, do you like having those two days off? I mean, it's my first time, so we're gonna see. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna see. Honestly, I prefer back-to-back uh, -back days because that way it's here and then it's over with the next day. So you you can get the high pressure, high situations going, and then it's over with the next day. But I mean, we'll see. We'll, if I end up running fast and y'all make that team, I might I might like it. <laughs> Daniel, I mean, uh, in all seriousness, because you know your health is the most important thing. But I mean, has there has there been a time that you can affect either at Olympic trials or you know, you know or trying to make a world championship team, like where you have felt like at your peak physically? Because it seems like you are always having to overcome so much just to even get to the final, let alone make a team. Yeah, I, w I wouldn't say I've ever come into the championship just feeling great, to be honest. But that's just part of the sport, especially with me having two surgeries on my knee, like. There's never really a time where I'm just feeling amazing at all times, you know. So I come into these meets knowing that, and I just try to go take it one meet at a time, one race at a time, one hurdle at a time, and give my best. Like you said, there, you know, you and Corey said like proceed with caution. But how have you learned to manage that? Because the you know the scenario has presented itself before, and just in terms of like hey, this is this is the reassurance, or oh, this is kind of the feedback that I need from my body to make, you know, make sure that I can go through three rounds. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not even about the body; it's more about mentally. If I know. If I get into that first round and I feel fine and I get through it, and I, even if I don't feel fine, but I run a good race, a solid time, then I'm good. That's all the assurance I need going into semifinals and finals. Because I know when it comes to those moments, I'm going to compete. I'm going to make that team. And that's, that's all that matters. Well, despite all the setbacks, I mean, 13, 14, not too far off your exactly. season's best from all the way back in exactly. April, right? Yeah. I mean, that must feel good about the progression as we look forward. Oh, 100%, man. 100%. I mean, even with, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've switched to seven steps this year. So that alone has been a lot just physically my body but also mentally just hurdling is totally different so trying to put all those things together at the right time i feel like we're making the right progressions but we got two days to get it right so <laughs> i'm excited to see how it goes man thank you Daniel. I'm, I'm, I'm just curious like we saw michael johnson announce grand slam track right mm -hmm. and i'm curious your thoughts on it like you think it's a good idea is it something that you would potentially join in on um, i mean it's cool i haven't saw all the details i'm off social media a little bit right now but mm -hmm. i saw that he announced it and i think I mean, it's great for the sport. I'm gonna anything that's gonna bring more eyes to us, more financial support for sure. I mean, obviously, me having a family now, looking at having children and stuff down the road, that's always a big help. So it's definitely something I will look into 100%. I see Sydney's in it, so obviously she's probably looked a lot into it. So she's in it. I trust it to be honest. So yeah. Well, I'll say one thing. There is a potential of like 110 hurdles and 100, uh, yeah. 100 meter dash, right? Yeah. What do you think? Like, what can you run in a hundred meter dash if you're like in tip top? Grant said he could run like not sub ten if he's in top shape. What do you think you could do? I want, I want to say yes. I could. I feel like I could as well, for real. Just off of the, they running. Just based off of the the sprint speed that I have, natural speed. But at the same time, when I training for hurdles, like my stride is so much shorter. So if I'm training specifically for the hundred, I think I could maybe hit a 10-0, 10-1. I'm not gonna say nine nine because that's kind of fast. <laughs> But I think I hit 10 1, 10 2, like something like that, and roll. Something crazy. There you go. <laughs> Appreciate you, man. Thank you, man.